हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द बीम्स ऑफ यूनिफॉर्म स्ट्रेंथ इट मींस दैट दैट बीम हैज सेम बेंडिंग मूवमेंट थ्रू आउट द लेंथ ऑफ द बीम राइट सपोज फॉर एग्जांपल व्हाई वी आर डूइंग सो व्हाई वी आर डूइंग सो सो सपोज फॉर एग्जांपल वी हैव अ बीम सपोज लाइक दिस suppose we have cantilever beam like this and let us draw the bending moment diagram of this uh, cantilever beam with uh, point load what will be the bending moment diagram we have already study in the chapter of shear force and bending moment diagram cut the section cut the section and at a distance x find out the bending moment what will be the bending moment that is wx right so uh, the bending moment at a distance x will be equal to and this is a uh, hogging bending moment hogging bending moment so this will be minus minus wx you already know that we have already studied this in shear force bending moment diagram just i am showing you this what is happening why we are doing this thing beam of uniform strength and you will get a straight line curve of the bending moment like this like this right here you will be getting uh, the bending moment wl if l is the length of the beam right if l is the length of the beam suppose length of the beam is l like this right so this is the bending moment diagram of this beam is it okay and in the formula of bending equation what is bending equation you know that m by i equal to sigma by y equal to e by r this is the our bending equation and sigma will be equal to m by i multiplied by y and we have to uh, design this beam for maximum bending stresses the the cross section of the beam where uh, the bending stress is maximum right and the fiber lower fiber or upper fiber from the neutral axis where the y will be maximum right so two things we have to find out m the bending moment maximum and then y maximum right so here you see that the bending moment is maximum at this point at the end of the beam suppose point a point a this is a this is b so maximum bending moment will be maximum bending moment will be m max will be at m a for which we will design this beam the material of the beam such such that the material should have taken the this stress for maximum bending moment so sigma will be equal to sigma will be equal to m max m max by i the cross section of the beam where the bending moment is maximum the material should take uh, should be able to take the stress corresponding to the maximum bending moment and this is m max m max right and then we will design the beam the the cross section or diameter or width or depth or whatever it is uh, of the beam right and then y maximum then y maximum because you know that the variation of the uh, bending stresses is linear you know that the variation of bending stresses is linear like this so it will be maximum at the y maximum so like this so first we have to see the bending moment then we have to see the stresses these are the maximum stresses for this case at y maximum at m maximum at y maximum and at maximum maximum we will design the diameter of the beam right diameter maximum, and then we will get the sigma max sigma max where there is bending moment is maximum and where there is dimension uh, vertical vertical distance of the fiber from the neutral axis will be maximum right this you should know we design for maximum stresses
and then we find out sigma max and then we find the uh, stresses and then uh, dimensions of the beam what are the dimensions required we are designing the beam for this part only and based on this part we are keeping entire beam of the same material and same uh, diameter suppose we have got some diameter that at this diameter 50 mm the beam will be safe at this point beam is safe at this point uh, of 50 mm diameter but it is over safe over safe at this point because in these points in these points in the vicinity of b in the vicinity of b the stress is very low because bending moment is very low if the bending moment is very low why we are keeping the uh, diameter of the beam same near b because the stresses are very low because m is low m is low so for that case what we can do is we can decrease we can decrease the dimensions dimensions of the beam near these points where bending moment is low and keep the dimensions high diameter high at these points where the bending moment is high so we can make the beam of varying cross section for keeping the strength of the beam or bending moment of the beam uniform right so we can keep we can keep a beam we can make a beam like this this is a rectangular beam this particular this beam is a rectangular beam or or uniform cross section area beam which we have shown here this is a uniform cross section beam right so there is no variation in this beam in the length of the beam right suppose i make it like this this is a uniform cross section beam like this right it may be diameter or the if it is rectangular it may be width or and length of the beam width and depth of the beam and this is the weight applied w like this so this beam is a uniform cross section area beam uh, suppose it is a uniform cross section area beam it is having some depth and width depth and width right so suppose depth of the beam is like this right so it is width suppose width is b and depth is d depth is d right so this is this is was the cross section of the beam and it was uniform throughout the beam throughout the length of the beam and suppose l is the length of the beam like this so this beam is uniform uniform throughout the length of the beam this is uniform same length is there same width same depth is there but it is safe at this point but it is over safe over safe at these points near b and at we have designed for point a and it is safer now right because we, we have designed for this moment maximum bending moment and uh, width of the beam in this y direction of the beam on the neutral axis so if we are designing for a this is over safe for other parts of the beam why not to uh, change the dimension of the beam so that the beam may become uniform strength or uniform bending moment so suppose like we can make a beam dimensions like this this is the dimension of the beam this is the dimension of the beam it is changing it may be diameter or width of the beam it is width is low here and width is higher here you can see here there is variation in the width of the beam suppose this is a width of the beam so there is variation in the width of the beam like this at this point at this point width is higher and at this point width is lower or we can make somewhat oh, more lower, uh, lower width of the beam width or thickness of the beam like this right and we can apply a load here now right and this is the this is the varying uh, cross section of the beam at this point the cross section is this much suppose <coughs> this is the uh, width and dia of the beam right width and uh, depth of the beam this is b and uh, suppose this is this is b and this is 
depth d and at this point the width and depth is changed now right like this like this the width is this this and, and depth is this right this is suppose 2 and this is 1 it is regularly varying cross section area is varying now variable cross section area is there right so by this m will change m will change right the bending moment will change and if bending moment is changing bending moment is changing the stresses will be stresses will be all the lower at this point so it is safer for these points also you can see here it is safer it is safer for all the points because we have changed the dimensions of the beam right so this is a variable beam variable cross section area beam variable cross sectional area beam right and this is made in such a way that cross section area is dif different here and different here so this is also called uniform strength so it may have strength uniform the stress the stress is uniform throughout this beam because y is decreased now uh, bending moment is same but y is changed now right dimensions are changed now so the strength of the beam is uniform throughout the so you see a uniform strength beam uniform strength beam so how can a beam be made uniform strength what can be done what are the characteristics of uniform strength beam what we can do is <coughs> we can change the uh, width of the beam this b b can be changed so uh, the width of the beam can be changed by varying the by varying the width of the beam width of beam keeping depth constant depth constant second point what we can do is we can change the depth and we can keep the width constant right so uh, by varying depth of the beam keeping width constant So y is changing here y basically we have changed the y so it will be a uniform strength beam third uh, what we can do is we can change both width and depth by varying both width and depth of beam we can change both width and depth of the beam and fourth point if it is a circular beam if the cross section is circular then we can change the dia of the beam right so we can change the diameter of the beam suppose this is a circular beam we can change uh, the diameter we can keep here the different diameter and at the end a different diameter can be kept like this so this can be changed also like this right so this is the beam and we have applied the weight w right this can be the beam we have changed the diameter of the beam it is a, if it is a circular beam the diameter can be changed by varying diameter of the beam of circular cross section cross section if the beam is of circular cross section then the diameter of the beam can also be changed so these are the ways these are the ways in which we can uh, make the bars of uniform strength here uniform strength what we mean by uniform strength it means that the strength of the beam matlab the stress developed in the beam is uniform right what we mean by uniform strength is basically stress not bending moment that is stress uniform stress beam right so here basically what is happening is we are changing the y y of the beam right y of the beam is changing right y of the beam is changing so that 
although the bending moment is low here bending moment is low and we have made y in such a way that the stress is uniform throughout the beam so bending moment is low here like this you can see here the bending moment is low as well as y is low so when m is low y is low then stress will be equal to the stress at this point right so stress condition will be same throughout the beam right so you can show here that previously the stress was different here the stress was different here the stress was different so the points near the beam like this will be having i am showing the stress at the outer periphery like this so this is the uh, this is a uh, sagging bending moment so the size stresses will be there here the stresses at these points say sigma and stresses at these points like this sigma is same throughout the beam right throughout the beam the stresses are same right but here 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 the thing is different right here the stresses are very large here the stresses are very large maximum is this point i am showing at this point near this point the stress is very large like this the stress is very large at certain point here like suppose this is the point the stress is this right this is sigma say sigma 1 and the stress at this point stress at this point because bending moment is low here you can see here at this point the bending moment is this much this is the bending moment at this point this is m1 and at this point suppose this is point 2 the bending moment is different m2 but y is same we have kept the y constant this y this y the depth and width is the same so so m1 and m2 are different and y is same then this sigma will be large at one point and small at two points right so you can see here the stress will be low at this point sigma 2 outer periphery I am showing right so in this case uh, the sigma sigma 1 will be greater than sigma 2 for this case right and not for this case for this case the strength will be same or stress will be same so that it may contain a uniform strength throughout the beam so this was the concept of a uniform strength uh, cross-section beam by varying the dimensions of the beam throughout the length